Hello everyone and welcome to MathX. We have this masterpiece, beautiful equation to solve. And I think what is striking about this equation is these exponents six, two, five, and three. So uh, my question to you is, can I add any number that I want to all of them? If I add a plus one, to all of them across the board. Am I changing the equation? The answer is no. Well, because it's the same as multiplying numerator and denominator by an extra x, okay? So I'm not changing it. I could go and uh, add any number or subtract any number that I want. But what number is the best? I'm gonna go with four i'm gonna subtract four from all of these but why okay it will be two this one will be negative two one and negative one you see that is helpful right so let me go and write it here to see it better why this is good well the first term will be x to the second power plus Instead of writing x to power of negative two, I'm not gonna go write it like this. I will write it as one over x to the second power. So, and then we will have x plus one over x equals seven over three, right? It looks so much better. It looks promising, right? So now, uh, again, you see the numerator looks as if it's almost the denominator squared, like these two uh, squared, right? Let's go on and check what is these two squared. So I'm gonna go and write it here. I'm gonna have x plus one over x squared, okay? It would be the first term is squared. Okay, plus the second term is squared. Plus two times of the first multiply by, it would be two X multiply by one over X. So you see that this will be, okay, only plus, two right okay now this is what we have here okay so i will have i'm gonna go instead of this write this term and negative two to the other side so the equation would be something like this okay i'm gonna go orange so Instead of numerator, I'm going to write x plus 1 over x is squared. Okay. This would be 2 more than this. So I'll minus it by 2. So again, I'll have x plus 1 over x. Okay. So that's why it's so useful, right? I'm pretty sure a lot of you can go from here on your own, right? Because you were just wondering how, uh, what the trick is. So, so from here, these two, x plus one over x is repeating. So let's go and uh, write it here. x plus one over x. I'm going to go and call it something else. Let's call it t. Let it be t. So the equation will turn into something very familiar over t equals seven over three okay so we just need to solve this quadratic equation so uh, it will be 3t squared minus six okay equals 7t so 
having the 7t to the left hand side will we'll have 3t squared minus 7t okay minus 6 equals 0 okay let's go and factorize it so this equation let's just write it here okay okay so i'm gonna go and write this as the product of two terms okay equals zero to create this one of them of course will be 3t the other one will be t we have this negative six which will be product of two numbers maybe six negative one maybe three and two but i'm gonna go and write it negative three here okay and plus two here so when we multiply 2 and negative 3, we get this negative 6. When we multiply these two, we'll get a negative 70, negative 90. These two plus 2t, which is going to be this negative 70. Okay, so we have, okay, this, let's see, one case, this would be 0, the other one, this would be 0. Okay, so we'll have two values for t. T could either be 3, okay, or T could be, okay, negative 2 over 3. So from these two values for T, this one is acceptable, this one is not. But why? Because, you see, the value of T will be either larger or the same as 2 or it will be smaller than negative 2 right it's impossible to have t uh, negative 2 over 3 so that's not acceptable okay so let's go and solve everything for x now okay we're gonna have we're gonna use this x plus 1 over x will be 3 okay so multiplying everything by an x we're going to have x squared plus 1 equals 3x okay so now we're going to get uh, x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0 let's use quadratic formula quickly so the value of x will be okay 3 plus minus okay it would be 9 minus 4 a square root of 5 divided by 2 okay so there you go we got our two values for x and i hope you found the video useful if you did don't go without a like